I think like the poison of of now is fan interaction. Like I I love that you think I'm genuine and kind to of my fan. And that's nice, you know. Um, but like the idea that like artists that just cater their fans and do all this stuff for their fans and show up to meet like uh, have fan like this is a live chat we're talking. You know, I, I haven't done one of these in. Them. A long time, and these are, you know, we're feeling questioned. This is all great, but the idea of people to do like weekly Q and A's, and 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 truly, this is honestly um, uh, a huge portion of what YouTube has become, and why I don't participate in a lot of it is that it is it all all it is is a relationship between a person and their fans, and and zero content, like actually. For the most part, no, no, nothing is being made. There is, there is not a, a thing that's being made other than ple doing whatever you can to please your fans, which to me is is not the job of the of the. You know, when you give people exactly what you want, you get McDonald's. You know, when you give people what you think they should want, you get like a great restaurant where they try new things or, or you know, and, and that's how I. Love McDonald's. It's probably not a great <laughs> analogy, but nothing is being. I, I I think I try not to think about fans. I try not to think about that, and and it's actually backwardsly in, in service of them. I feel like the best thing I can give people is what I believe I should do, regardless of what they think, and the, a bunch of people are just getting. You know, I don't want to spend four hours tweeting people back. I want to spend four hours working on something that will mean something to people. You know, and nowadays it's just like all it is is just self promotion and fan interaction. And I'm like, what What are we doing? We've we've actually celebrity, which was like a byproduct of art, has now art's now oh, it's gone from it. And now it's act now it's just celebrities and people and oh. Uh, Videos of them opening up gifts from their fans and talking about it. And I'm like, where, where the fuck are? What the fuck is happening? I don't know. I don't. I, YouTube is very, very strange. If you, I don't know if you've seen any of this stuff. The, the, the oh, definitely. And there are some, and there are some vlogging and all that stuff that's really informative. They do scientific stuff or even like commentary on video games. All that stuff. That, that is content. I mean, that is, that is. But there are some that, that I don't know what I'm looking at. I, it's like it's a. It's like a pretty person's life in real time. I'm very, 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 very confused. Um, okay. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe people watching have an idea. I'm very, you know, I'm very interested to see like what people my age and younger have to say when they be when they get like you must free up space in the question queue. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm very curious to see. I'm curious to see what people my age and younger go on to um, do. What what they when they get like doctorates in psychology and they're able to look back and or sociology and look back and think of this stuff. Because right now it's just like 30, 40, 50 year olds that are theorizing on like what this all means, and I don't think they really understand it. I don't even understand it, and I feel like I'm within it. Um, but I'm really curious to see. It's going to be really interesting to see what the great art made by a 13-year-old when he gets older is, because I think they're living a very, very strange life right now, and uh, yep. there's a lot of it's an uphill battle, and I don't think people are for for people that want to try to make creative stuff, um, it's a real, real uphill battle, I think, but also completely wide open. I was watching like Freddie Freddie Wong his videos. And it was like amazing. This, he's like a young filmmaker on YouTube, and he was making amazing stuff. So it's also like it's strange. It's like there's as many resources now as there's ever been to make whatever you want, and yet the the it feels like culturally we're forcing people into the worst possible allocation of those resources, into like front light yourself, look pretty, jump cut, and open fan mail. And I'm like, oh God. Like if you had asked me ten years ago, I thought like I thought by now like an Oscar nominated short or like movie would have been made on you. I thought that that's where it was going. And it's not going there. I mean, I got in at the ground floor I'm absolutely rambling now. But I got in at the ground floor level of YouTube 
And in YouTube, when I got in, it was like all these people were being discovered. And I was like, this is amazing. This is just going to be the avenue through which we discover people. And nowadays, and then it got completely commodified and corporatized. And now the most viewed videos on YouTube are clips of Jimmy Fallon lip syncing with celebrities. It's like they got us. They, they fucking did it. They, the, the, the corporations, the huge entertainment, they, they, they stole it from us. There was something that could have like been of the people and it's completely corporatized now. And, uh, it's crazy. Oh, check out Wong, Wong, Wong Fu. Someone just come. Wong, Wong Fu Productions. I've heard of them. I have heard of them. I met that kid. He's really cool. That's another one. Now, do you feel there's a lot of like kind of inbreeding in the YouTube community? Like a lot of the big name YouTubers kind of doing stuff with each other versus when you started out, it was very much creativity and just kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's a good like, point. Oh. You know, and I think that's everywhere. I think it's a lot of places. I think that's in movies. I think it's definitely in comedy. You know, like I don't want like for comedy, it's like everyone's doing each other's podcasts, each other's television shows so that that it really becomes like you're a fan of the people and the community and you're not a fan of what's being made. You know what I mean? Like you're a fan of the comedy community or the YouTube community rather than a fan of the, the stuff. It's like, I, it's like everyone is a picture of a, like mechanics on their walls and they're not worried about whether the car is getting fixed. It's like, you know, these yeah. people actually do a job, right? They actually are supposed to give you a, a tangible service you know, beyond just you liking them. Like they're actually supposed to give you something concrete that you can, that can affect you or you can pass along or will mean something to you or, or will stay with you. And it has become this like IV drip, this just constant distraction or, um, yeah, or like weird avatarish like, what if my life was bad and I can forget about my life? Oh, it, it, it's real long, but, 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 um, yeah, I think collaboration is strangely, uh, you, you, you said it like cross breeding or whatever. It's like, yeah, I'm like, it would just, I don't know. It's you know, the good thing is, is that like, I, I'm, I'm probably like a little, um, too close to things or I've been in things a little too long now or something. And like, I might already be like an old man or something. And that, and, and there's just going to be a bunch of young kids coming up that are just going to like blow my mind and, and make me feel happy about that. And that's what I'm hoping, you know, I'm, I still feel like I'm like looking at the world, I'm like, okay, how is Tom Cruise still the biggest movie star? How is Jim? <laughs> like, like wh where are the new people? Like, oh, how, how have, how has the internet exploded and yet entertainment has not like been replaced, um, really? Uh, but I, I hope it's coming. I mean, the studios are going to, you know, the studios were, I thought they were going to fall, but then they figured out how to do everything. They, the internet's owned by them. It's crazy. It's wild. It's really is wild.